All right, good morning, everyone. We're at the West Overland Vehicle Show. We're out here, we just parked, took the Tesla down, we got Matt with me. A uh, lot of Overland vehicles in the parking lot. Pretty cool to see, check out this Jeep. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go check out the show. We're gonna go talk to all the vendors, see what's going on, see what's new in the Overland vehicle space, and uh, maybe get some ideas for the truck and bring you guys along to uh, see what it's like and, and see what the options are out there. Just walked in. This is what it looks like. Tons of stuff. Guys, who should be the first people we talk to? Up on the market. It's got a true lifetime warranty. My last one on it. Like, last time I a lot of cool stuff is out here right now. Really cool vendors. We just talked to some solar panel guys. Um, we're gonna go stop at the fridge, the medic fridges. Check those out in a little bit here. We're gonna go conquer this side first. We got Bilstein shocks and yeah, really cool to see all these vehicles. Real kits, guys, check them out. Super cool, really, really well thought out. Like, puts my camping box to shame. So I'm gonna have to build them. They're gonna have to build me one eventually. But, uh, love it, awesome. Guys, here's the front runner setup. This is what I run in my rig, the rooftop rack, and uh, my water tank, the 18 gallon water tank is from these guys as well, check them out. They make really cool products, really good stuff. The website's got tons of Overland gear. If I sent Overland, guys, you kind of just, he was saying you just buy the shell and build it out however you want, all custom made. And they win the coolest logo award. Damn. Guys, I thought my table was cool, but this is on a whole new level. Goose products, goosegear.com. What do you think about this vehicle right here? It would crush every vehicle we saw at Miller. This is insane. Lift is as tall as me. Let's go check it out. The Unimog. This would be the ultimate overland vehicle, guys. I think this would put the, the excursion to shame. Zombie apocalypse vehicle right here. <laughs> <laughs> or this one, you can can him in the rear. Looking at the axle, this is what I want to do to the excursion. You can see how the axle is above the center point of the wheel. It's actually got, I forgot the exact name, but uh, it raises the axle up. Uh, pretty awesome just to get some extra ground clearance off of the solid axles here's what we want to go see the opus 15. this is the trailer that me and michael plan on getting in the future and uh let's go learn some more about it the things we love about the opus 15 is the pull out fridge system you got a cutting board over here i mean the, the whole kitchen is just so well thought out you got a king size bed that folds out the back out here that's not set up when you're driving which is nice the independent suspensions um, yeah, we're gonna, let's go look inside. The nice part is the size. You get the two bunk beds for the children, a whole shower in here. Nice little dinette. Uh, this is the king size bed back here and you know, a little TV and lots of windows, lots of air. All these come down. Um, so this is the trailer I think we've decided to go with. We're waiting for baby number three and then uh, we're gonna hit the road full time, so. Yeah, Opus, from all the research I've done, I think it's one of the best companies out there to, to go with if you're looking at trailers and if you're looking at pop-ups. They have the really awesome inflatable system, um, which I think is one of the coolest things out there. So so uh, this is the inside of the Opus 4. It's got the air struts in here. Really, really cool and spacious in here, guys. I mean, you get a whole like dinette that's seating, I don't know, six people maybe. And you got two beds, one, two, these fold out. Um, really tall, I mean, that's gotta be eight foot ceilings. You could open it all up. Uh, so if you're looking for something that's not a hard sided trailer, I think this is, again, one of my preferred favorites. Oh, uh, you know, I thought my truck was big, but turning a Ford Raptor into a freaking monster truck is on a whole new level. Bad ass looking though. Portable cutlery. That's a liner lock. There you go. The reason we went with a liner lock is so that if you've ever had a pocket knife, nine out of ten pocket knives have a piece of metal right here. True, yeah. And that means you've got a gap that's going to fill up with food. And you're not going to be able to clean it out. So 
We went with a hollow back, the liner locks, and the shoes can wash right out. That's nice, Sam. Think about this one, around 3,500. Looks like it's for sale. All pretty badass looking here. All right, my buddy Matt just was asking, why don't we have our spare tire mounted like this? It's a great idea, right? It's just a hitch. Um, it's actually pretty cool how it works. The tire just mounts up and then you still get a two inch hitch receiver at the end here. But when you're bringing bikes around, you run into the issue where your bike rack is gonna be out this way. So in order to get your back trunk open, you now have to take out your whole bike rack, then swing the tire out, then open the rear. So for those that are wondering, that is why I put the spare tire on the roof so we can still use bikes in the rear. Yes, I'm pretty sure everyone watching knows exactly what this is, but the infamous, the amazing Earth Roamer HD. I mean, probably the best thing on the market. Probably also the most expensive thing on the market, but hey, I think it's everyone's goals watching to maybe up in one of these one day. Freaking awesome across the board. I actually have never been inside of one, so we're going to pop up here in a second and check it out. But this thing is absolutely on a whole different level of i mean it's huge the tires are let's look at the suspension on this guy freaking incredible entering the earth roamer and uh this thing is nicer than my house so like real granite countertops look at this absolutely It's like straight off a yacht. Beautiful shower, lovely. There's the sink. That's the whole bed. I don't know what's under that. I think it goes to the cab. But talking about a tiny house on wheels. Just explain to me all the ins and outs of the Earth Roamer. 250 gallons of fresh water, so a little bit larger than my 18 gallon water tank. But uh, so Rob is the engineer for Earth Roamer. Uh, he was. He said he did most of the work for this truck and absolutely incredible so guys this is one of the coolest things i think i've seen here so far at the show uh, it's called lava box portable campfire this gets around all the fire restrictions allows you to do a campfire at night um and especially here in colorado we run into this problem like all summer long so what's your name josh josh is the owner we're definitely gonna pick one up these things are fantastic also kind of like right in par with the opus 15 we have the explore rv this is another one me and mike have been checking out and we're gonna go peek inside this one and see exactly how the two compare this has got the dual axles, which is nice. We were just talking to one of the guys here and uh, this is actually rated at minus 40. So this is a huge benefit, especially for people here in the States just wanted to get out in the winter time. You know, the Opus 15 and the Black Series are not cold rated. So uh, this is a cool model. We like the toy idea, right? You could bring your bikes and stuff in and out of here. Um, it sleeps four. And it looks like you put some stuff on the roof, which is pretty sweet as well. So you could have like additional guest room up there and. Uh, you have to cook inside, but they said the reason for that is that the outdoor kitchens, you can't insulate them correctly. Uh, so that makes sense, you know, it's, it's kind of a trade-off. Do you want to cook outside and only camp three seasons or cook inside and do all four seasons? But this is probably right up there with one of our favorites. Um, you got a ladder in the front and yeah, you can put stuff on the roof too. So that's really cool because you can get all of your toys up there. And guys, I'm going to change my mind. I think this might be my new favorite trailer. I think I'm off the Opus 15. I think this is it. American made up in Wisconsin. We got some Gobi backpacks. Some Overland gear. This is actually a pretty good idea for behind the seats. Need some storage racks. Hot out here. I'm like melting. So many different trailers to choose from. So many ideas. I, uh, I recommend you guys come to one of these. They're pretty cool. You get a lot of ideas, a lot of neat things to look at and to potentially buy. Lawrence from Overland Photography. And uh, I finally found a way to mix my passions, which is being outdoors and just camping and enjoying nature with photography. And I used to teach workshops. What's we staying in hotels and now we are staying outdoors. And Heck yeah. It's pretty cool. So if anyone wants to learn how to take some amazing photos and get some awesome drone shots probably better than myself i should probably take a class with him uh check out overland photography we got another vehicle that's just out of this world i, I honestly don't know how people 
A afford these things and B yeah, this thing's freaking beast. This is up right up there with the Earth Rummer. Absolutely wild. Hunter RMV. This is a pretty cool thing I've never seen before. So the whole cab will pop up and the whole spare is actually tucked up behind here between the back box and the cab. So really awesome design. Looks like it's got everything here. And he promised me he could do switchbacks and telly ride, no problem. This is something cool. It's Drusian Overland. Makes bike racks to go onto the side of a truck. I always thought about this. This is a really nice setup, kind of like the one-up bike rack, but custom made for the outside of a pickup truck. We got the eye camper and, and what's your name? I'm Brady. Brady just showed me- From uh, High Country Performance for the first. From High Country Performance. Yes, we do. He, uh, he just showed me the best idea probably ever. Like I'm, this is going in this weekend for sure. Just a funnel with a hose and I do not have to get out of my tent in the middle of the night to pee. Yep. It's ingenious. Pretty cool. We just talked to these guys, Redtail Overland. They're out of Colorado. They make a integrated, they make a rooftop tent. Here it is. It's all carbon fiber. It has an integrated diesel heater. Um, it's all four seasons. It looks pretty sweet and it's hard sided. So it's, it's kind of different. I haven't seen anything like this before. Um, with the heater in the front and uh, sitting on a Ford. Expedition, which of course we love, full size SUVs. Pretty awesome. Uh, we're checking out the Winnebago Echo. Oh. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Just, just putting that on YouTube. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. This is pretty cool, so this is worthy. And um, we were told to come into the bathroom and move the wall, which at first we didn't know what that meant. So here's the bathroom. But when you want to take a shower, this whole piece swings over the toilet and you get a whole shower. I mean, talk about like, that's some pretty awesome engineering and a great idea as far as just like utilization of space. So the sink and the shower, I mean, ingenious. Love that idea. Hey Matt. You just can't poop and shower at the same time. Hey guys, I'm here with Lifestyle Overland. We got Kevin. If you don't know them, you should. They got an awesome YouTube channel. Uh, they travel all around the continental United States. That all over the United States. And right you were just at Alaska, yeah, I believe, too. Alaska, yeah. Costa Rica, Costa Rica. Awesome. Yeah. World's so, next. Yeah. As soon as it calms down. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that'd be great. Really cool to meet them in person. Yeah. Give them a like or a follow or subscribe. All of it. All of it. <laughs> Check out uh, the Power of Red Arc. These are some of the best guys in the industry um, for electrical systems. They're on the more pricey side, but they are the best. I can't believe I haven't won an overlanding truck today. What is this? Why am I here? <laughs> <laughs> the cool idea to put your mat tracks and also turn it into a table. I like that idea. This is a cool thing I just came across. Gobi Heat. It's a heated camping chair. Me and Mike have always talked about this. I think it's a great idea. So you no longer have cold butts while you're camping. It's a really cool company here. Got your six all focused around coffee. We got French presses, coffee holders. Vacuum savers. Yeah. Vacuum savers. And a percent of their profits go to veterans? Veterans? Yep. Veterans. Okay. So actually we donate 100% of the net profits back to nonprofit organizations that help first responders, veterans, and the families of fallen heroes. I love it. I love it so much that we, I'm going to buy one. I don't know which one yet. I'm leaning towards this one though. I, like this. I think this will fit in the camping box nicely. And it's a French press, so I no longer have to deal with my broken drip garbage coffee maker. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's been an awesome show. Me and Matt have had a great time. Just, we talked yeah. to we talked to a ton of different people, met a ton of different vendors. Uh, so much cool stuff here. So much to look at, so much to learn and just, so much to buy if you wanted to um but hey thanks for coming along thanks for watching hopefully you guys learned something if you can make it out to the show i think the next one's in uh arizona in september so yeah. see y'all later